Greetings and salutations, it's your boy D-Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot, and um, I'm here kicking off the water signs. Uh, I guess we'll do uh, Cancer first. So, secret time. <clears throat> Two secrets. First secret about Cancer is you need to understand Cancers are way more funny, witty, entertaining, talented, independent, and non-emotional than people think they are. Just like Leo's, Cancers catch a bad fucking rap. It's like, oh, what's your sign? Oh, I'm a Cancer. Same shit I hear on, what's your sign? Yeah, I'm a Leo. Right, it's hella sound effects <laughs> when it comes to a, a fucking cancer telling them, telling people they're a cancer and like Leo's telling them they're a cancer because it's like y'all think y'all got cancers figured out. Like y'all think y'all got Leo's figured out. And I find it highly strange that we're, 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 we're next to each other. I think it's a July thing. Like I'm a July Leo, July 26th, you know, um, and the cancers whose birthday in July we kind of share the same birthday month qualities type shit, which is like, like I say, very charming. If you're a cancer born in July, you're way more aggressive and dominant than you appear. Cancer women are like Aries women, Sagittarius women, Gemini women. They like niggas. You know what I'm saying men cannot spit game at no crab female because she didn't heard all the game before. You know what I'm saying? A cancer female didn't hurt it all. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Woo, woo, woo. It's like, eh, heard that. Tell me some shit I ain't heard before. Show me some shit I ain't seen. Another thing, despite what y'all think about cancers, they know about the quality of life. They like quality shit. Might not look like it from the surface. And like I say, they aggressive. You don't believe me? Start some shit with a cancer. I bet you they'll be the first one to swing. And knock your ass out. They could be five foot four. A cancer could be five foot four still trying to fight a six eight motherfucker. Cause like I say, nigga, they brave, they aggressive, they dominant, they ain't bitches. People think cancers are weak as hell. They are totally opposite of weak. Totally opposite of passive. Feel what I'm saying? Like I say, they will beat your ass. They will lay a smack down on your candy ass. You know what I'm saying? If you get them twisted. And they don't care. Unlike Leo, they don't give a fuck how you feel. I don't give a fuck what you think. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell you to your face they don't give a fuck about you. Like I said, Kansas is the type that will go to sleep on the dance floor of your party if that shit that whack. Or if they're that drunk. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not as self-conscious as the Leo. They are self-conscious because they're not going to walk out the door looking like anything but they don't give a fuck. They do, but they don't. You know what I'm saying? It's a little secret for y'all. So don't flex on no cancer, because I'm telling you, they will smack the shit out of you. Don't ever play a, can a cancer off in public. You know what I'm saying? If you're a guest of a cancer, please show respect. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. If a cancer feeding you, I wouldn't bite that hand. Because they're going to go ape shit crazy on you. Number one, for disrespecting them. Too, for even thinking you got them fucked up, thinking you could take advantage of them. Like I say, it's a lot of cancers. I know people are scared of a lot of cancers, but yet they're supposed to be sensitive pow powder puff crabs. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. They do have a weak inside. Yes, they're crabs. However, that shell is hard as rock, hard as nails, hard as diamonds, and you don't want to catch them, them claws. They ain't got hands. You don't want to catch them claws, son. <laughs> you don't want to catch them pinchers, son. You know what I'm saying? You know that Facebook uh, viral video of that crab holding that knife? Think about that shit. If a crab holding a knife and it's back against the wall, that crab will fuck you up. Look how intimidating that crab look with a knife. It's a crab with a knife. If I seen a crab with a knife, I'd be scared as hell. Like, yo, that crab got a fucking knife. <laughs> or a crab 
somebody with a gun or some shit, bro. Like, when a cancer's back against the wall, you do not want to be in front of them. They're going to take off like a rocket straight forward. They're going to bust through a wall, bust through whatever that is. Anyway, let's get it in with cancers. You know what I'm saying? This is for August 1st, August 15th. Cancer feminine up top. Cancer masculine at the bottom. Overall energy, bottom line energy. Let's get with it. So, off top, cancers. To the divine masculines, excuse me, crab masculines, y'all divine too. To crab masculines, it's like y'all got too much shit on y'all plate for y'all to be taking on any other task or taking on anything more than what you already got to deal with. Handle what you got in front of you first, then take on new tasks. Overall energy. As far as the crab feminine overall energy, I just think is this is the Pimp Cup Chronicles. You need to know that out of all these cups here, you're the coolest cup. Out of all these crabs here, you're the most colorfulest. Ain't nobody got shit on you. Deep down, subconsciously, you know this. You don't get assertive about your confidence until you deep in the middle of trying to prove somebody wrong. That's when you find your confidence. That's another thing people don't understand about crabs. Y'all shine harder when people tell y'all what y'all can't do. That shit make y'all go even harder. Because bottom line, you're reaping what you sow. You know what I'm saying? If you know masculine, you got a lot on your plate before you take some more shit, you taking some more shit is just going to put you in a whole nother problem. Give you a whole nother obstacle you got to take care of. And as far as the crab feminine, it's like if you don't know your worth, motherfuckers going to treat you just like you think you are. So if you a 10 but you think you a 5, motherfuckers going to treat you like a 5. A fan. No, if you think you ugly, motherfuckers gonna treat you ugly. You think you broke, motherfuckers gonna treat you like you broke. You think you crazy, motherfuckers gonna treat you like you crazy. I'm saying, however energy you're giving out is however energy people are perceiving from you. So be about it. Okay? Coming into this thing. Craft feminine. Got the two of wands here. I just take it as shedding light on this particular particular issue, particular purpose or some shit. Like I say, this you not thinking you're good enough shit, you need to shine some light on that. Because you don't give a fuck what people think. Why are you on yourself like you give a fuck what people think when you really don't give a fuck what people think? So it's not like you're giving a fuck what people think. It's you giving a fuck what you think about yourself. Shed some light on that. Why are you tripping on yourself? Whatever that might be. Crab mail, you're going to have to reorganize. You're going to have to get with a game plan. You're going to have to get a game plan going and run with that shit. So whatever you've been doing so far, that shit ain't been clicking. That shit ain't been working. You need to get you a new script, new demo, new job, new crib, new card, new something. Cause what you've been doing ain't working. More the same is not enough. As far as the crab feminine, in regards to yourself, Queen of Cups, Psychic card, your spider senses is tingling about some shit. You got a hunch about something that you think is correct. See what's up with that hunch. Really see what's up with that hunch so you ain't got to be distracted by it anymore. Or wasting time, energy, and resources trying to figure out something before you get to the root of the, like, the, root of the problem. You know what I'm saying? You want to get to the root of the tutor with this shit. So any intuition that your soul or your body or the spirit or the universe is telling you, trust that shit. Trust in your intuition because it's going to take you places you wouldn't go without it. Message. As far as this crab masculine, in regards to the feminine energy, we got Ace of Cups. This is unconditional love, unconditional respect, unconditional admiration. Since most cancers is pimps and shit, you know what I mean? I just take this as your baby. Maybe this is the first time you had a daughter. And you having a daughter, being a pimp, is teaching you a lot of shit about how you are with women. So it's giving you kind of a, a aha moment. As far as karma, that's why I had a baby girl. Because I've been doing baby girls bogus my whole motherfucking life. I mean, it, I think it's only right I have a girl that I gotta worry about from niggas like me type shit. This newfound love, some shit you ain't never really thought of. Like maybe you got kids, but you had all boys, now you got a daughter, and this shit just hitting you a whole different kind of way. Because you know the shit that you'll let your son slide with, you know you can't let your daughter slide with that shit. So it's like you get an aha moment with like a baby girl, or you get an aha moment with like a girl. 
friend, wife, lover, whatever, mother, whatever. It's like you're getting a, a new admiration, a new respect, a new sense of awareness for somebody other than yourself, preferably a feminine energy. As far as crab feminine in regards to the masculine energy, you heard. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. This is a deep wound, too. It speaks the same language as this Two of Wands right here. Some shit you need to shed light on. You need to shed light on this deep wound. Because deep down, it's like something happening within you. You feel something changing in you. You feel something happening in you. You feel something that's like you got to heal something. And that's this, this wound. You got to heal this wound. Because it's affecting the way you look at yourself. You're not seeing yourself worthy when in reality, you are the best pick amongst all these scrubs, bums, whack-ass, fuck motherfuckers. You're the best of the best compared to them, but yet you're beating yourself up like you ain't got nothing on these people. When really, they ain't got shit on you. So you can't see that because you wounded and you ain't shed no light on it. And despite what your intuition and your confidence say, you seem not to go with your intuition. As far as this crap, masculine. In regards to himself, he's a new man. Once again, it's like you had a daughter and she changed your life. You finally found the one, the wife you always been looking for. She changed your life. It's like you've been beefing with your mom your whole life. Y'all finally on one accord. You've been beefing with your grandma all motherfucking week. Now y'all on one accord. Like you just making amends with a feminine energy. This could be your baby mother. Who don't like your ass but starting to respect you because you're becoming a man from this daughter you had with her. Something like that. You're just becoming a better man. You're on your divine shit. You're on the path you need to be on. So maybe, like I say, usually it's like you was living fast and and, 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 and you was living life fast. And you had a daughter and that shit slows your shit up. Which had to happen. Puts you on a whole nother pace. You needed that. I mean, that fire under your ass from having a kid just... Flames you and turns you into a whole nother person. As far as crab feminine going to the future, it's like you got the full card. So once again, you a fool if you don't heal this wound. Knowing damn well you need to heal this wound. You know you need to heal this wound. You see what this wound is doing to you in the physical. Not healing yourself will be a full move. Like I said, that's like walking around with a bullet hole or you walk around with a hole in you. You need to patch that up before it get infected. Why lose a limb when you can get on that shit ASAP? It's like getting bit by a snake. You ain't gonna get bit by a snake and then wait to go see if something happens before you go and go get some anti-venom or some shit like that or some whatever you call uh, antidotes to shit like that. It's like, nah, you need to be on that shit ASAP. The moment you get built, you need that you losing in life soon you got bit. You need to hurry, you need the time start ticking soon you got bit. bit. So you need to go and get you some help. While the time ticking. Because once time stops, you stop too. As far as this crab masculine going to the future, he's got the whole up weight card. So once again, you change man. Now it's back to life, back to reality, and it's like, hold up. I can't kick it with y'all like I was kicking with y'all before I had my daughter. Like, I can't. I can't do the same shit I was doing. You know what I mean? I'm a changed man. So it's a hold up on that shit you think I'm on. I ain't on that shit no more. That's some new shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. Craft secret number two during um, clarification time. It is clarification time. Um, nothing you got to understand about, um, cancers, like I say, cancers are so emotionally tuned to the, to environments, it's not, it's not even funny. Like a cancer can really, like, give life to a party or give life to a situation, or give life to a moment. They can really capitalize on a single moment. You know what I'm saying? It's like you at a you at a daycare, right? And it's like some go down to where the kids are all mad. Maybe y'all couldn't go to the park today or couldn't go to the, the swimming pool and all the kids is mad and they 
acting all weird and shit and don't feel like doing nothing. And it's like, you see the kids' morale is down. So it's like, what you do is you go to Walmart, go get like three little blow up pools for their kids. You get like blow up pools, you get fake ass palm trees and shit, you get like fake sand and shit, and you, you make like a luau at the daycare. Since y'all couldn't go out and do that shit, it's like, I'm gonna bring the party here. Not only are you gonna bring the party here, you're gonna dress it up, get it all festive and shit, and save the day. While all the other workers were sitting there, damn, these kids don't even want to do nothing. It's going to be a stressful day. They're going to be shot. It's like, nah, you already thinking ahead. Like, you know what? It ain't shit to turn on. Make a, it ain't shit to, to, to bring a pool party here. Like, let's all come up with this plan. Let's all kick in. Let's all do our part so we can do our job for these kids. Because in reality, if they happy, we happy. If they ain't happy, our job going to be whack. Only a cancer can really capitalize on that shit. S scope that shit. Peep out the environment. It's dead here. These kids' morale is down. Somebody need to turn this shit up. Bet. Booyah. Y'all do that with kids. Y'all do that with y'all own kids. Y'all do that with y'all relationships. Y'all do that shit at y'all jobs. Y'all just got a way of thinking about others and not for yourself at the moment. When you need to be on that. Going back to the message. Clarifying this Pimp Cup Chronicle right here. Feminine crap. You need to know your worth. And if you don't know your worth, then you need to get passionate as fuck about learning to, to know your worth, about accepting your worth. You better put some passion on accepting who you are. And if you ain't what you wanted to be, you better make the modified changes so you can be the person you always wanted to be. You ain't got nothing but time, space, and opportunity to get it right. If you think you look unattractive, which well, you probably don't, get flee. Get right. Shit. Because until you see yourself as sexy, ain't nobody else going to see you as sexy. Until you see yourself as sane, ain't nobody else going to see you as sane. Until you see yourself as secure, <coughs> nobody's going to see that. Because at the end of the day, you reap what you sow. You understand me? The seeds you sow is going to bring you good fruit. The bad seeds you sow are going to give you bad fruit. And if your ass too lazy to remove that fruit before it tears away your harvest, then like I say, you just a fool all around the board. Careful what you're doing right now. Okay? Aside from that, you need to get some, some Romeo and Juliet about your damn self. Get on your own clip. Get on your own dick. Get on your own jock. Get on your own team. Get on your own squad. Get on your own shit. Because you the shit. Alright? You know you the shit. It's just people either A ain't telling you the shit, but fuck what they think, because you don't give a fuck what they think anyway. Okay? Get on your shit. Get on your shit. <laughs> Crab feminine coming into this thing. Like I said, shit you need to shed some light on. Huh. Shit that needs your attention and thought process right now is the six of wands right here. This celebration you got, this victory you got going on. What am I celebrating? What's the victory? You alive, ain't you? You look better than your peers, don't you? Yeah, think about the bitches you went to school with. <laughs> look how they looking, look how you looking. Look how they feeling, look how you feel. Look where they're at in life, look where you at in life. It ain't about competition and shit like that. But if you're going to beat yourself down, at least look at some people who are in a worse situation as you before you start to beat yourself up like you the one that's got the problems out here when this motherfucker's is going through 30 shit, shit times 30 times worse than you. Looking 30 times uglier than your ass, but you tripping on yourself or some shit. You know I'm saying? It's ugly, fat back, whale looking ass. Motherfucking Congo Gorilla 8 looking bitches out here that can keep a nigga up. I was saying that shit the other day to my twin. I'm like, yo, crackheads keep cup. Like, every time I see one crackhead, he got a bitch with him. Like, a crackhead dude keep a crackhead female. A crackhead female keep a crackhead boy. You mean to tell me crackheads can fall in love and keep love going on out here surviving in this world, but you can't? You mean that ugly, toothless chick with one leg that's crit walking over there and got a nigga and you don't? You mean to tell me she got what you got? No, motherfucker. It's just a, a whole self-awakening. As ugly as that toothless, one-legged crack chick is, I bet you her confidence is through the roof. And where your shit at? On low. Your shit on home. Her shit loud. Your shit on home. Come on, now. Come on, now. <laughs> Come on. You ever want to feel sorry about yourself? Look at these YouTube, not YouTube, but look at these like viral sensations, these ugly motherfuckers. 
like the, the fat chick with the cross eye who keep niggas around here. Like that one chick that dance, do that goofy ass dance. She ugly as hell, ain't got no body or nothing. You know what I'm saying? She keep a dude. You mean tell me she got what you, what you ain't got? Hell no. <laughs> Yo, they booger bears, man. Do not let these booger bears do better than you when it comes to relationships, when it comes to confidence. Because you looking goofy. If they got swag and confidence, get you some. What you, what you talking about? Get you some, Joe. Straight up. Just want to throw that out there. As far as the game plan, crab mail, it's like, you eat all day, first off. First off, now, it's like... Not only do you have to uh, come up with a whole new game plan of what the fuck you're doing, you have to learn, learn, let some shit go. Because what you've been doing ain't been working. You need to let that shit go. And you need to get you a new game plan. But whatever you've been doing ain't been working to where you need a new game plan. And on top of making a new game plan, just let that shit go. Whatever the fuck it is you hold on too tight to, let that shit go. You don't need it. Detach. No matter what it is, who it is, where it is. Catch. Crab feminine. In regards to yourself. It's Queen of Cup. Shit right here. Got the Ten of Wands. So like I said, soon you get an intuition on some shit, that's when you get it. That's when you stop everything, boop, and get on that. Damn, why do I feel like this? Damn, why did I even get that message? Let me see. What the fuck is this about? Trust your instinct. Trust the X-Men in you. Okay? That's just gonna make you a powerful psychic or a powerful entity anyway is learning to trust your self, your own intuition. Trust your powers, your inside voice. Trust your spidey senses. They're obviously going to lead you somewhere. You're obviously connected to something. Trust in it. As far as this crab male in regards to the feminine energy, it's like this newfound love that you have in your life from your daughter or your baby or your son or this beautiful wife you have or the beautiful mom who just passed or who just came back in your life you're just feeling really appreciated you know you just really appreciate what you got of who in your life of the shit that makes you feel so good right now because whatever this is is saucy your daughter's saucy as hell your wife saucy as hell your mom saucy as hell like whoever this feminine is that got you feeling so good that you love so much, it's the sauce. Even if it's a baby, like that baby is just affecting you to the best possible degree. It's like you found a queen. You got to stop fucking with these little Tatianas out here and went to find a, a, a queen. And it's like she putting you on a whole new levels you ain't never seen. It's taking you to heights you ain't never been. She the plug and she putting you on. Like, that's awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. This feminine, saucy energy you around is just awesome sauce for you. Craft female, in regards to the masculine energy, this deep wound right here, you're going to have to leave this shit in the matrix. I'll just put it like this. You got hurt in the matrix, leave that pain in the matrix. You live in Zion. If you're an ascended soul, an ascended master, a divine feminine, divine masculine, it's like you live in Zion. You're in the real world. Hurt, pain, heartache, that shit only means something in the world. Once we leave this last atmosphere, we in heaven, where you don't grow old, where there is no pain, where there is no suffering. There's no suffering anything past the 3D. Get past the 3D. Get off the 3D, get to the 4th D and the 5th D. Even though this is the 4 of Cups, this is 3D. Pain only lasts, like, like I say, doom and gloom, pain, sin, hell, all that shit is only viable on Earth. Outside of Earth, there is no sin, there is no hell, there is no pain, there is no suffering, there is no none of that shit. And like I say, it doesn't have to be the Havana Spheres which is the central of the universe where heaven is. We could just talk about outside of this fucking atmosphere, pimp. I'm saying, take my yoke upon you 
That's what that scripture means. When Jesus said, take my yoke upon you, that means you can go to space with this water bottle. You can go to space with this plaque right here. You can go to space with this computer. Or you can go to space with Mount Everest on your motherfucking back. So when you get to the last atmosphere, that shit gonna float away. All your problems gonna float away. All your drama gonna float away. All this, oh, am I cute enough, sexy enough? All that shit gonna float away once you get past the 3D realm. The fuck off Earth, man. Quit thinking like people on Earth do. Start thinking like a, a, a sinister soul. Message. <laughs> as far as this uh, crab man in regards to himself, like I said, he's a new man because he's getting groomed by his baby girl. Like I said, your daughter grooming you, whether you think it or not. Your wife grooming you, whether you believe it or not. Your mom, who's in this good spirit, she probably kicked a habit or something. She probably just got out the hospital. Like, you don't know what you got till it's gone or almost about to go. Oh, God. I fuck with my mom all the time while she's healthy. She ain't got to be sick for me to fuck with her all the time. I'm learning to fuck with her now. So when she is unhealthy all the time and I spent when she wasn't healthy, I ain't just coming back around when she's sick. Can't say that shit for my broski. Who don't fuck with my OG. And he a Leo. August Leo. <laughs> He's different. <laughs> no, don't wait till your mom gets sick for you to fuck with her. Fuck with her now. Feel me? Because you could be grooming her. She could be grooming you. You could be getting so much out dealing with your mom right now. You could be getting so much out dealing with your kids right now. Fuck with people while they're still alive. Don't wait for people to die or people to get sick for you to fuck with them. Because when they get sickly, you can't get groomed by them no more. It's the grooming stops and it's more like taking care of shit. I'm going to say this and I'm going to move on. My grandma, Pearly May, Calhoun, she said this shit. For real, for real. She said, <laughs> you know, she was just like, God want to use you while you young. That's when God want to use you. That's when you can make your best effects while you young. God don't want you when you old, dried up and sick. He has no use for you. Don't wait till you get old, dried up, and sick because, in essence, you didn't get in God's plan when you could, and that's sick, he don't need you. Meaning, you just wasted your whole time. All this time, you could have been building with people, loving people, grooming people, helping people other than your motherfucking self. All that shit went by. You know what I'm saying? It took you to get sick for people to get back in your life. It took you to get sick for people to worry about you. Nah, you should be on your shit anyway. Have them in your shit. Before that, it shouldn't take sickness for people to get on your team. They should have been on your team when you graduated and stepped your life up and became a mentor for people to come and flock to. Moving on. Going to the future. Crab feminine. It's like, clarify this full card. We got the devil card. Once again, get out the matrix. Because if you stay in the matrix, you will die in the matrix. It's everlasting life outside of earth. It's not that faith in the 3D. These are two jokers. This is the fool card because it's black. This is the devil card because it's red. You can't really see the difference, but fool card and devil card. You'll be a fool to not heal yourself. You'll be a fool to not ascend right now. You'll be a fool to keep that whack, battered way of thinking about your damn self. Because the way you're thinking, that's what the devil wants you to think. He's a bitch. I, he ain't got no power. I won't worry shit about him. I'm just using him as an example. He wants you to feel like shit so you can walk around thinking you're shit when you're the shit biscuits. Feel me? That's what he does. Don't fall into that trap. As far as this masculine uh, crab going to the future, they dog hold up weight card being clarified by the back and forth conflict. So like I say, in the midst of you changing, Trying to be a better man, putting a hold up to that bullshit you was doing before, you catch a fucking conflict for being a better person. Now, once again, who wants to conflict you for being a better person? If niggas want to hate on you for being a better person, quickly remove yourself away from these fuckers. Stay in Zion so you can be where you want to be. Leave their ass in the, in the fourth. I mean, leave their ass in the third dimension. It's like you want a whole new path. You a whole new man. You be a dumbass to let these old fuck friends influence you while you in your divinity period. Especially with the blessings you got in your life right now. Alright? That's the message I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hope I could be of some assistance. It's your boy D-Boom. Deuces.